okay, it's not something you probably don't want to think about, but all of us are surrounded by viruses. In fact, inside the average home, there is a vast number of different viruses. Yeah, you know, new research has uncovered some little known viruses that live on things you're probably used to seeing every day. But don't panic. Dr. McGeorge is here to explain how these microbes could actually help save lives. Hey there, Doc. Hey, Karen and DeMond. Yeah, you know, so when this toothbrush was fresh from its package, it probably didn't have any viruses or bacteria on it. But as I used it, I put my germs on it, and then other things also contaminated it. So whenever I use it, I'm exposed to a new reassortment of viruses and bacteria. In particular, viruses that infect bacteria. Those are called bacteriophages, and that is the focus of the new research. They're damp and warm and perfect environments for microbes. You may not want to think about the viruses that live on shower heads and toothbrushes, so researchers did it for you. It's unsurprising that we find them there because we find a bunch of bacteria basically everywhere, everywhere. Um, but what was surprising is how many different viruses we found and how different they looked from anything that we had ever seen before. Microbiologist Erica Hartman led a study which found bacteriophages all over toothbrushes and shower heads. And while that sounds bad, these are not viruses that infect people. Instead, they infect bacteria, and these could potentially be used to save lives. For a long time, we've relied on antibiotics to be able to treat infections and save lives. But right now, antimicrobial resistance is one of the biggest public health challenges that we're facing globally. And so there's a lot of hope that we can leverage things like bacteriophage to help treat these infections that we can no longer treat with antibiotic drugs. Herman says the hope is that these phages or something learned from them will aid in the development of better drugs or improved biotechnologies. We need microbes to, in our gut, help us digest our food, on our skin, help us to ward off pathogens. And it's actually a really good thing that we are exposed to microbes from time to time. Now, something else that this study found is that the viruses that contribute to our health or the ones that maybe cause illness, they are different even within the same environment. So, for example, shower heads were very different than toothbrushes. And it's this broad set of differences that really needs more study so that we can come up with new tools and methods to actually determine how these microbes work and interact with us. All right, Doc, so question for you. If someone out there is cleaning and disinfecting on the regular, I mean, like, all the time, yeah. that actually might not have the effect that they think it may. Well, that's actually true. You know, I wouldn't necessarily do away with cleaning and disinfecting altogether, but there are viruses and bacteria everywhere, and trying to eliminate all of them is really kind of counterproductive. And to a degree, I would say that we actually do need exposure to microbes in the environment, really to keep ourselves healthy, keeps our immune system on, on, uh, on its toes, right. and it also helps build our uh, microbiome. Makes that's sense. Something it's to think about. Yeah. It makes sense, but it's hard to it's hard to think about. Yeah, it's a little weird. <laughs> yeah. I admit. It's a little gross, yeah. but I get it. All we right. appreciate it. Thanks, sure. Doc.